Hey everyone here, Knight of Pepsi with another Stratego game, matched up against Fairway, who's pretty close to the Platinum Marshal. Um, I'm at an all-time high myself of 8.06. Um, it's actually my first time getting matched versus Fairway in a ranked game. So it should be kind of interesting. Uh, first time in a while I've turned the audio on for a Stratego recording. Sergeant, okay. So he's got a lot of activity here on my right side. Captain here. That's a little bit unfortunate. Scout, okay. Wouldn't be surprised if that's a scout as well. Okay. Wouldn't be surprised if he takes that takes that lieutenant. I'm gonna take up here for info. Probably find a captain or something. Yep, there it is. All right, so what do I want to do here? I'll try to line this major up with the captain. I'll do that as well. And I, I know Fairway, um, he's gonna hit that bomb, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Um, obviously Fairway has his own YouTube channel. Uh, chances are that if you're watching my video, you've probably checked out his channel at some point. So I think I'm going to move this captain up here. That way I have the ability to bring my spy out if I need to. Um, all right, I'm going to threaten this captain. I don't think his front row piece is going to be a major or better. I know that he does like to use a lot of scouts early on. This minor up like it could be something good. Okay, so he will scout that. Interesting. Let's move the scout up. Sergeant. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, I'm okay taking the captain for info, especially since I'm already ahead. A captain. Discover a colonel. Okay, that's expected. We can pretend like the scout is something good here. I'm going to bring this lieutenant out. This will probably get scouted. All right, so he's going to run with the colonel. We definitely don't want to lose track of that colonel. So he's going to tuck that colonel in over here. We know that's a sergeant. There's a good chance this could be another captain or even a major. Let's try that, actually. So he tucked his colonel in over here. I know he often likes to put his marshal in the third row, so um, he doesn't like to show his marshal very early at all. So I'm probably fairly comfortable getting a little bit aggressive with my general. Um, I'm actually going to hit up here. I am ahead of captain. Lieutenant, excellent. So 
threaten with a major and see what happens, or threaten with a minor and see what happens. He's just going to take it, okay. I guess he wasn't buying that one bit. Let's scout this. Lieutenant, okay. I don't know if I'll hit that or not. So we have a sergeant, a colonel, major, and a lieutenant. I do have the info advantage. Um, down a major, but I'm not the captain, so that's not really too big a deal. He does know this lieutenant, and he knows a bomb. He does not know this general, which he's probably... I'm hoping he thinks it's a bluff D. But we will see. I'm actually going to bring this colonel around the edge here. Okay, that's fine. I don't think this is going to be anything better than a major. But it could be. I'm going to move the scout up like I'm protecting. So I'm trying, I'm trying to not make it too obvious what I'm attacking with here. All right, so we know a major. Major, Colonel, Lieutenant. We do not know what this piece is. Now let's hit up. Scout, okay. Lieutenant, fair enough. I'll we'll back up just to be safe. All right, so we've got, we know that's a major. I was hoping he'd hit, I'd, I'd kind of like to get an extra piece here. I'm going to do that and see what he does. I hope he doesn't just hit with the colonel because that would be, okay, I was hoping he wouldn't do that. So that's a, that's my unknown colonel for his known colonel. So that was definitely not ideal. Really. I think I'd actually like to bring a captain up. Although I need to be careful for this major. What do I think this is? I don't think it's going to be anything very good. I think I'm going to do that. Scout, okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't scout my general, though it's a little bit unfortunate that he... So at least he doesn't know what 
these two pieces of guarding are. We'll see if he hits with this piece now. Major, okay. That's really not great news with my captain sitting here. Major, major. I feel like the game started pretty well, but then went downhill quickly. Um, I don't really have the info advantage anymore. Let's do this. All right, so he's not even going to back up with this major. Okay, that's interesting. So he seems like he's willing to give up a meet kind of risk and give up a major for info, which I suppose makes sense. I don't think that's going to be anything real good. I'm going to move this lieutenant up. Back up. And if he hits, let's get the major, major. I was going to say, if he, hit, if he moves this piece down, I'll probably just hit with the captain. He only has one scout left. All right, I'll take that. Is he going to risk with the major? He is going to risk with the major. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't quite expecting him to be that risky. All right, I could bring this lieutenant in and try to do a little bit of damage here. Captain, okay. So we'll back up here. Unfortunately, with him, for him knowing this colonel, I can't really do much to threaten that major. So he's bringing his captain all the way around here. That could be the marshal. And I will be behind if it gets recaptured there. Um, trying to remember where it came from. This major up here. All right, so he's just going to hit it. Perfect. I didn't quite want to just risk that. Let's see if he chases. He is going to chase. All 
right, so I got my major back. Um, I, I mean, I would I would say at this point he's winning, just because he has the uh, information advantage. He knows my colonel and he knows my general. Um, he knows. I think he might know one of these captains, or or maybe not. He he knows this captain. All right, so he took a little bit of a risk there that that was my marshal, but I think that risk took, made sense for him to make. Um, so I know that's second. That could be, that could be the other major. I really don't want to trade colonels here, but I guess I don't have much of a choice. Could be a major. I mean, I guess it's possible that could be the general. But I do know this captain. General, okay. That's some good info. I'm actually going to threaten here. I don't think that's going to be the marsh, but it's possible it could be. All right, I'll hit that captain for info. Let's see what happens here. We'll see if we discover the marsh. Trade majors, excellent. I think he's recording this too, so. Kind of anticipating what his uh, commentary might be. So I know his last major. Here, remember this lieutenant. He discovered that lieutenant a while ago. I'm not sure if he remembers it. At least my marshal isn't obvious. I feel like that's a bit of an advantage. Um, that could be the last captain. Actually, I'll do this. I'll move up. Captain, okay. All right, it's too bad I found that with the captain here. That is his last scout, so. I'll let, him use, I'll let him use the move to discover that here. It's not a big deal. How am I doing here? Uh, I'm up a captain, but I'm down two lieutenants. I'm also down a minor, so I am down. 
I'd say I have a slight info advantage, but not very much. Captain. What do I even want to do here? I'm not really sure entirely what to do. Um, but I feel like maybe I should activate the marshal a little bit. I feel like that could be the marsh. So I think that was his captain there. That's that's the general. That's the major. So he's going to threaten my general there. A little too square for now. I do feel like that could be the marsh. Threaten that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do here because I'm down a lieutenant and I'm also, yeah. I'd really like to try to get that captain back. I think he has to respect that. Let's see, so how do I want to play this? I don't think that's the marshal. That could be the marshal there, actually. I'm actually just going to move away here. Major makes me a little bit nervous. All right, so he's going to bring the Major over to threaten here. Which isn't really ideal. I feel like, if anything, I'm just getting myself into a little bit of a bind here. Yeah, so now he's threatening. Now he's threatening a captain with his major, which is not what I want to see. Now he's going to threaten my major with his major.
just let me three square a bit here. Could be the spy there. Very interesting. All right, at this point, I might just have to trade off here. I'm ready. It's going to come two square this captain and take it. So he's making some really good reads in this game. Trying to bluff like this captain could be the marshal, but he's just not buying it. I believe that's a captain. It's flag B. He could have a corner flag. Chances are his flag's probably in here somewhere. I actually kind of want to bring... I'm already down a minor, so I have to be careful, but... See if he wants to trade. Guess my piece wasn't getting too much done anyway. What could we have here? Minor. I'm definitely running out of pieces here. I feel like at this point he's predicted the marshal. Of course, this certainly could just be a spy bluff. Is it the marsh? That could be the marsh.
problem is he has two lieutenants left. Got there. Wow, he actually risked a lieutenant against that captain. All right, so he's made some pretty big, bold plays that have most, mostly paid off for the most part. I'm definitely in a losing position now. I mean, I don't think my captain's going to be much good against two lieutenants and you know three extra miners. Especially when I only have a couple of possible flag locations left, really. He's either thinking big about his next move or he uh, got distracted with something. All right, so that's the piece I was suspecting could be the marshal anyway. Be the spy. That could just be the other. Probably his other lieutenant then. It's actually pretty annoying. It could even be an aggressive spy. I don't think that's the marshal. more likely to be a miner than anything else. Yeah. It sure was. I don't know which piece I feel is the marshal. Still has a spy out there somewhere too. Surprise probably more likely to be up here.
any possibilities on, I mean, that could even be the Marshall there. A little bit hard to say. Got here. I mean, all right. So that's that must be the spy. Then that's probably the marshal. If that's the marshal, then good game. Like I said, I'm kind of in a losing position anyway. It wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't down two miners, but I am. So I'm hoping to at least take a spy here. I think that's the marshal and that's the spy, but we'll see what happens. Well, that's the marshal. Well. All right. Well, he made some pretty good reads. Either that or I made some really bad bluffs. And they ultimately decided the game. I, I felt like the game started pretty well. I was able to get a pretty good information advantage. But um, yeah, he just ended up making some good reads that helped to level that out. And before you know it, he had the information advantage and I didn't really have any material for it. Um, it definitely helped that he was able to scout our colonel, and um, then he was able to use his colonel to take a captain in place. And so he did that pretty well. Um, he, he definitely made better reads than I did, and I think that ultimately decided the game. So pretty good game. Hopefully he was able to record and get on YouTube. Um, I'd love to see the game from his perspective. Um, uh, and it's just in case anyone's watching this and hasn't heard yet, it looks like the Flash version of the site is going to be gone at the end of December, which I think most of us expected anyway. Um, but um, it doesn't look like there's really going to be any update to the site. So uh, we might have to go back to playing on Graven or see if anything else comes up. But at least for the next month and a half, we have something to do. Um, back below 800, I'll have to play again and see if I can get back to you. My goal is to see if I could get the Platinum Marshal this year. I guess I have a month and a half to do that. So winners here, I'll probably be playing a bit more. We'll see what happens. Um, hope you enjoyed the game, um, and I'll get you next time.